Girl, I don't know, but something is in it. Er. Listen long, long enough if you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It's another get ready with me. Finally, another get ready with me. Why did I say finally? I think I did one last week. So for this get ready with me, we're gonna do something a little bit different first. I got myself a little sip. Y'all know, usually in get ready with me, I don't have a sip, and I probably should have a sip more often because I have like a little bit of, it's a little bit of warm apple juice and tequila. So it's a little nightcap and we're just gonna chat, have a little mental health check-in, do a little bit of a face, put on some pajamas and have some girl time, okay? Cause it's been a minute. I think the last time I've done something like this was maybe a few months ago. Girl, what they doing outside? I get to go ahead, chat, have a good time, and play in some her because that's like my favorite thing to do. What do you like to do? So, clink, 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 clink. I didn't even clink, y'all. And can y'all see this hair? Like, come on. Now, this one is really, really different. When I chose this unit, I was like, oh my God, this is giving very much spring, summertime. It's off the neck, girl. You ain't gotta worry about your neck sweating. You know, the next sweat can be too much. So I like am in love with it. Like it's the short, I've been looking for a short wig. I do want to say thank you to RPG Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. So we're going to get into this wig install because when I tell you it was super duper easy, girl, this is one of them pull out of the pack girlies. And then for the face, we're going to do something really, really simple. Like, you know, like a simple face girl. I don't even know. It would take me about five minutes to do this if I wasn't running my mouth and I was about to cry. First, we're gonna get into how I installed this wig and then we're gonna get into how I did this face and then chat. If you wanna see everything I did to install this wig and get more details on this wig, please keep on watching and I'll be back to do the face and chat. So your wig is gonna come in the RPG hair box and inside that box, of course, you receive your wig in a satin baggie, a removable elastic band, a comb and you receive a care card as well for you to care for your wig. Of course, you also receive your gorgeous wig. Now this wig is the Invisible HD Lace Clean Hairline Blonde Highlight Curly Bob Wig. It is eight to 10 inches long and 180% density. This wig, once you pull her out of the box, you can already see that that hairline is done, honey. When they say clean hairline, they mean that it's already been pre-plucked and the knots have been pre-bleached and you don't really have to do much to it once you pull her out of the box. Now for me, I wanted to do a couple things just to make this wig, you know, unbox it a little bit. So I decided that I wanted to reinforce the hairline using the wax stick. So this is the... I forgot what this wax stick is called. I always want to call it the You Go Girl wax stick, but that's not what it's called, girl. <laughs> it is a wax stick that I got from Amazon. I'll leave it down below. So I like to flatten my hairline using my Red by Kiss hot comb and the wax stick. And I just flatten the hairline backwards, just like it is at the top to make it look more uniform and make it much easier to apply. So I just flatten both sides down. I'm trying, this is a side part. So I'm not trying to make it too flat. I want it to, I still want it to have the volume that it needs in the front. Now, as for the part, I did want to flatten it a little bit, but not too much because I still want it to have a little bit of volume. The next thing I had to do, of course, was get these curls together. Y'all know my favorite port. This is the part where I shine, friend. So I'm going to take my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frisbee Frizz free curl mousse say that five times fast i'm going to use that in my evolve 572 brush to brush through the curls and clump them together now this hair is super duper soft and i love that this hair is already layered so once you clump the curls together and you separate them it's going to give very much layer tease i don't know i don't know what i was trying to say but girl it's layered so once I do add the mousse and comb through it, it clumps together so well and you can actually see the curls pop through. Now you can see that this hair is partially blonde and you can see that the curls still popped even though this hair has been colored, which is great. So I just move through the hair and use the mousse to encourage those curls to come back because once it comes out of the box, it still looks, it looks dry, okay? She needs a little water, a little something to saturate her. So once that is complete, all I need to do is dry the hair. Now you can dry it just by hanging it or using a diffuser. What I like to do is use my wig head. This is a 
hair dryer wig head. You put the blow dryer in the opening and then I use a hooded dryer as well. I didn't show that on camera, but if I want to dry it really fast, girl, you put this blow dryer on, put a hooded dryer on it, on cool, maybe she'll be done really, really fast. Next, I decided I need to go ahead and apply this wig. I didn't decide to, girl, I had to. I had to put it on. So in order to apply this wig, of course, I'm gonna do my normal base, which is a wig grip and a wig cap. And we are gonna plop on the wig. Now I noticed once I plopped it on that it may need some lace tint. I don't wanna risk it. So I decided to use um, my Kellen Derrick lace tint, spray it onto the lace and then distribute it with a regular, it's like a makeup brush girl. I've been using that brush this whole time. And I'm also going to use my Dyson diffuser to set in that color on warm. Now you can see the difference. I like for my lace to look like my skin tone once I put it on. Now I have noticed, I do have another RPG hair wig that it melts right into the skin. I didn't have to use the lace tint, but baby, I wasn't gonna risk it this time. I wanted to blend in with or without makeup. So after that is complete, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace. Now I'm cutting the lace using my Annie shears all the way across, baby, that's it. Now y'all gonna notice that I pushed this wig up a little bit farther forward, further forward than I usually would. So I had a smaller forehead, but you know what? I want to be a tiny forehead baddie today. So I'm gonna use my uh, even, uh, what is this, lace bond spray? Girl, I'm running out of words, but I think it's the even lace bond spray to apply this wig. <laughs> Baby, I was tired. <laughs> you saw my eyes, girl, I was exhausted. But I'm gonna use the even lace bond spray to apply the wig, spray it right on my hairline, and then just lay the wig down. Girl, I did it out of school real quick. That was it, it didn't take much. And when I tell you this lace blended right into the skin, this is the point where I was like, oh girl, I probably didn't even need lace tint. It's much easier to apply a wig without lace tint than with lace tint, but it blended so well into the skin. It didn't add texture, it just melted into the skin. It looked gorgeous, friends. So I did two layers and then I would just lay the lace down. Now next we need to go ahead and get this hairline together. Now I like baby hairs, but I didn't need baby hairs. So I basically what I wanted to do was create a more realistic hairline with the swoop de dupes So what I like to do is cut a baby hair into the hairline and then like swoop it a little bit. So it was not exactly a baby hair it's more like just like sculpting a hairline does that make sense am i explaining that correctly because it gives more dimension to the hairline and it makes it look like how i would wear my hair if it was in a natural bob now this is a baby hair now this is a sideburn baby hair friend so i like to do the little side hair sideburn baby hairs on the side just a little bit of stick something to stick out a little bit to give it a little bit of a little pizzazz. So I just laid those down using the even lace bond gel. And I did that on both sides. I don't know if I'll ever give up baby hairs, but you know, it does create a better looking hairline to me, but y'all tell me which one y'all like better. So we're gonna go ahead and melt this hairline using an elastic band. I usually leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes at least so it melts down. But while I'm doing that, we're gonna go ahead and fluff up these curls, girl. This was so simple and easy. The hair was completely dry, but it was a little bit crunchy from the mousse. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff it out using a wide tooth comb. I actually ended up combing the curls. I didn't mean to, but the hair is really short. So I wasn't trying to comb it. I was just trying to get through the roots and fluff it up a little bit. But maybe I ended up combing it. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't notice I did that until watching the footage back. But anyways. It still looks amazing, cute, fluffy, perfect for spring. The only thing that was needed to do at the very end was get this part together. So I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown stick foundation. I think this was, I forgot what color, almond? I'm not sure, to define the part. And as you can see, it looks like it's growing right out of my scalp. It looks amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this wig is super affordable, y'all. It only is $159, perfect for spring, and there's not a lot of work to do with this. It is perfect for beginners. It's layered, I'm telling you, this is my summer 
go to it i'm in love with it now let's go ahead and get into this natural face and girl chat okay y'all let's go ahead and get started with the face now i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm gonna be real with y'all i was trying to make this like a whole get ready with me where i go out but it's been a tough day today and i was like you know what i don't even need to fake it i just need to relax and we're just gonna do a nighttime routine girl i got myself a little bit of tequila so basically this is warmed Mott's <laughs> warmed apple juice and um what else tequila grab a grab a drink and we're just gonna have an honest nighttime relaxing drink and chat and i'm gonna put on makeup for no reason at all the makeup is not gonna be the main part because it's gonna be really 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 natural makeup and it's gonna be the same makeup i always wear I wonder if this, I've got my little diffuser back here. My mommy got this for me for my birthday, I think a couple years ago. And I have rosemary and lavender in there. I don't like that cord though. See, can the cord be put somewhere? Bruh. For the face, I'm gonna do something really natural because this is gonna come right off. Let me put on some lotion. Cause these hands are ashy. I've been washing my hands like over and over and over again today, but um, I just want to chat and get like, let's get real. <laughs> it's that time of the month. Okay. And usually during this time of the month, I just don't like to be ugly. <laughs> Cause for some reason around this time of the month, I just be feeling ugly. I be feeling mean. I be feeling just like, Oh girl, <laughs> I don't even be liking myself like that. It's just emotionally I be off. So I was like, you know what? I want to be cute. I want to feel good. So I got, I look like a wrestler basically in this outfit, but this is like two sizes too small. This is a Target robe and a Target like exhilaration bodysuit. So this is something that I wear to bed and it's just like cute, but I don't feel like bleh, you know what I'm saying? For the face, I'm gonna do, I think it's gonna be basically what I did last time. I'm gonna wear, I don't even got my Invisalign in girl. I'm just off. Let's talk friend. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my same product, the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. Spray the face down. And we're just gonna start with the stick foundation and then I'll go into the NC45 Matte Concealer. That's what I will be looking, wearing next, if I can remember, but let that sit in. Look, I wanna just talk about what's going on today. Girl, or just lately, it's been like a few months. I feel like I've been in this space. It's getting a little bit better since springtime comes, has come around, but I don't know, like mentally, I usually feel it around my period where I just feel like, oh my God, girl, I'm not okay. But <laughs> girl, I haven't been okay. But I think it's just my perfectionism. I have to be honest. I find that my perfectionism robs me of joy. I rob myself of joy. Um, like I, have been feeling so grateful and happy for the past few months. But at the same time, when it comes to doing this, I've been feeling like I haven't been doing enough. I feel like I haven't been doing it too great. I haven't been doing well. I haven't been doing enough on all of my social media platforms. I just feel like with work, I've just been in my head. This is in my head. So it's just me being honest. I just feel like I've been subpar. And I did that when I worked in corporate. So it was not actually the job, it's just like a mental thing for me. And I feel like I, um, I'm just gonna blend all this in. Oh yeah, I have this, this discoloration on my face. I don't know where it came from. Uh, I feel like it, it did burn. So I think it came from scrubbing my face. So I'm trying not to scrub my face as hard anymore. I'll be real rough on my skin. I need to calm down. My perfectionism as it pertains to this job in particular, how it relates to this job is that I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I should be already at 100,000 subscribers. I feel like I should be uh, putting out three videos a week consistently having a date set. I feel like I should be posting TikToks. I feel like I should be doing a lot and I'm not sure if y'all can relate, but I just feel like I'm not doing enough. Since I've been feeling like that, I just feel like I haven't been resting when it's time to rest. So I've just been, um, it's just been a struggle like to move through that mentally. And I think the hardest part is that um, I, with this job in particular, days where I can say like, this is my actual day off, there's always a time that I could be doing more. And I always think like, I can be doing more today. When I actually had a nine to five, 
girl I first of all I had this so this was my passion so I was doing this when I wasn't doing that so I had a reason to shut it off but also um I thought like well this you don't call me about that job girl don't call me because I'm not on okay but when I'm on I'm on but when I'm off I'm off don't call me this is not the same thing and I think also because everything is going I'm so grateful I feel fearful of losing it Part of me feels like I need to keep going harder and harder and I don't allow myself to rest. So now, girl, I'm in, I be in a space where just before this video and yesterday, girl, I was crying all day. Also, it's on my period. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to use the MAC NC45 concealer just lightly in the highlight areas. But yeah, so um, I'm just letting y'all know where I'm feeling today. Tomorrow, I could be feeling differently, but this is a feeling that consistently comes up. And I just be feeling like, man, I wonder if other people feel like this. Like, you just feel like, um, so grateful for your life. But at the same time, I think fearful of losing it. So I feel like I'm like, <sighs> this is where I was today. And I had a whole plan for today. I was like, I'm going to do my get ready with me. I got outfits pick out. It's going to be a full get ready with me. I'm going to do the hair outfit. Then I'm going to go out to lunch. Then I'm going to edit the video. Then I'm going to submit it. Then I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do that. And then I did. I cried. <laughs> this was just a tough one today. Girl, I was just feeling like low energy, tired. But a lot of y'all, when I did my post yesterday, because I posted my, I was supposed to post my vlog yesterday, but I ended up posting it today, Thursday. A lot of y'all were saying like, because of the moon, girl, I think because I'm on my period while there's a full moon, that that's the reason why. Like, can y'all tell me down below? Because I don't know nothing about that. But once y'all said y'all was tired too, because I was going to ask, like, are y'all, have y'all been like unusually exhausted? Because like, I've been like, almost like passing out at night, like passing out. And I don't do that. Girl, I don't know, but something is in it. Er, y'all let me know. I'm going to blend this out. After this will be done pretty quick. So y'all let me know how y'all are doing. I just, you know, sometimes I feel weird about being vulnerable online because I don't want people to think I'm complaining, but I also don't want y'all to think that I, uh, I feel like I don't really, I'm not really like a vulnerable person like that. You know, I feel like I'm not that vulnerable, but maybe I am. I don't know. Maybe I'm super critical of myself. I feel like I go through this cycle every single month. I don't. <laughs> Either way, I'm grateful for y'all because I did not feel like filming today. And I said this last month, last get ready with me. I didn't feel like filming today. And then when I film, I'm like, why didn't I feel like filming? Because talking to y'all is like talking to one of my girlfriends on the phone and being like, girl, I just be needing to get it out. And maybe have a little sip, like a little drink or something. So, um, y'all see how this is looking? Like it, it looks natural, right? Yeah. This week has been tough. And when I said, I told y'all in the last video, I said, I am so afraid to tell people that I'm tired because somebody is going to say, Ooh, girl, maybe she pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. I'm on my period right now. Okay. Please stop saying that. I'm going to say that every single video now, because I feel like, Please, I'm gonna use the NYX stick foundation. I literally said I was tired. Oh, why did I put it up there? I don't think I meant to put it there. I put it where my bronzer's supposed to be. Well, I guess. I put it where my bronzer's supposed to be. Um, wow, <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Anyways, what was I saying? See, that's why I shouldn't have a sip. Are what are y'all drinking down below? For under the eyes, I like to take my sponge and go in with uh, my Laura Mercier powder because it's not super thick. So this is like a moist, wet sponge. So I like doing that to set my under eye area without um, making it more cakey. So I just dab it in my hand and put it under my eyes. So yeah. Um, yeah, girl, that's what I was saying. I don't know if I completed I wish I could go back to, through the video to see what I was saying, but yeah, about the pregnancy thing. Stop doing it. But what else is going on? What else is going on? Um, yeah. Oh, let's talk about TV shows. Y'all know what TV show I've been watching? I've been catching up on Vanderpump Rules. I think I'm on season... Is it six? Catching up on Vanderpump Rules. 
I haven't seen, I'm trying to ignore all the stuff about Sandoval. Oh, I don't even know if I should mention this. Cause I don't want nobody saying nothing to me in my comments. Cause I don't know anything. I'm just trying to catch up on that. And I have been watching Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Strip. I didn't watch it before, but I decided to watch it because I like Candace. And um, who else do I like on the show? I like Heather and Whitney. Have y'all been watching it? Oh my God. Oh my God. Where's my makeup brushes? Oh, they're down here. So I used the Laura Mercier powder to set, and then I'm going to use my um, Bobbi Brown bronzer to bronze. But yeah, girl, y'all tell me what you, if you've been watching it, y'all tell me what you think. Because, oh, I watched a new episode um, today. I think it was, I don't know what episode it was. But I watched a new episode today. Girl, it is too much. Can y'all tell me why Giselle is a Karen? I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, I don't like her. I don't know how y'all feel about her, but I don't like her. I don't like her character on the show. I'm just gonna bronze the nose. But I really have been liking the show. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. Now you have to be subscribed to Peacock to see it, but I think you also could see it on those like other sites. I used to use those other sites for a while, but then I got scared. Girl, I thought the girls, I thought the, the girls was gonna find me. So I was like, oh my God. Usually I put blush over top, but I feel like this is like enough blush. I'm not gonna do double layers. I did my eyebrows already, but I can refill them in for fun, you know? Watch the SWV. Um, Queens, what is it? Queens of uh, R&B. Oh my God, so good. I was invested, I watched it, but I really did enjoy that show. I really do feel bad for the, their sisterhood. Like I really feel sad for her cause I could not imagine. Like I could not imagine not being able to trust my sister. Like what? No. Like girl, you can't leave your wallet in a roll? <laughs> what? Can't even imagine it. Can't imagine it. Yeah, girl. What shows are y'all catching up on? Y'all let me know. I never watched Swarm. I wanted to watch that, but I feel like it was a little bit too creepy for me. One thing about me is that I don't like anything that's gonna creep me out, that's gonna be scary. I'm not that girl. I like happy things because for some reason, when I watch something scary, it will haunt me all through the night. All through the night, girl. I'm having dreams about it. I'm gonna wake up. I'm involved in the dream. I'm now a part, an actress on the show or I'm a real character. Like, it's a lot. I don't like anything scary. I'm more of like um, a real, like a happy-go-lucky sort of person. Like at night, when it's time to go to bed, I have to watch um, Seinfeld, The Office, or something light to go to sleep. But if it's like something where somebody is getting, I can't. So I watch the same show every single night. I've seen Seinfeld. I know all the shows. I've seen The Office multiple times. I've seen, maybe I think Frasier. Like I have staple shows that I have to watch. My amazing husband will just turn it on and watch it with me. He's a sleep in the dark sort of person, but I can't sleep in the dark because my mind will be like all over the place. Who knew I went to school for clinical mental health counseling? <laughs> Who's gonna help me? I need to find my lip pencil. Maybe it's in here. This is the face, girl. I just did, I used the NYX micro brow pencil on the eyebrows. I'm not doing nothing to my eyes because why would I do that? Should I do a highlighter? Let me add this highlighter real quick. Cause I feel like a highlighter would fit. I'm gonna use the lip bar highlighter in Now Hiring. Oh, come on, job. I'm just gonna use this on the high points of the cheeks, nose. But I am feeling a lot better, like a lot better. I just had to get it out. We just had to get it out, okay. So, oh yeah, I was supposed to do a lip liner. So for the lip liner, I'm gonna use the same. I need to get new lip liners and new makeup, but I just don't feel like spending money on it. If the makeup look good, then why would I, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and use, let me open this up so I feel cute. I'm gonna go ahead and use the NYX Lime Loud Lip Pencil. My nails, I popped all my press on nails off in Rebel Kind. And just gonna line the lips. Line it down here, okay. Round and round we go. And for lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and use, y'all have been putting my aligners all day today. 
This is a shame. I'm gonna use my NYX lingerie matte lipstick in Cabaret Show. And then on top of this, I'm gonna use a lip gloss. Y'all know my favorite lip gloss. It's the same lip gloss. The Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper in Pink Punch. It's my favorite. Super cute. Looks amazing. And I like how it shears out my lips. Mm. Now, I just need to toss on some earrings and I think we're done for the day. Do we feel better with the venting? I think so. Where is my, um, I need to have earrings in this room because at this point. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray down the face just so we can, I put my little earrings on from Amazon. I don't even know why I have on earrings because we're not going nowhere, but I feel like it's a vibe, right? Like, oh. <laughs> This is cute. Okay, let me just. Mm. When I tell you my lips are on fire, my lips are on fire. This is like a really, really quick face, but I think it gives full coverage without me meaning for it to. <laughs> I want it to look natural, but who is this, girl? Who are you? Okay, y'all, this is a finished look. It's a super duper like super quick look like i didn't even like what the hair was quick the makeup took like it was 20 minutes on camera but like in regular time it would have taken me five minutes if i wasn't running my mouth and complaining like i do i think the lips are a little bit too dark though i actually wanted them to be like a little bit more neutral but y'all know how it goes you end up with a darker lip than you usually do but still it it matches the vibe with the robe and this is cute. <laughs> Look at this hair too. I'm so in love with this bob. Like this is like summertime ready. Vacation ready. Like not too hot, not on the neck, not sweating. Ugh, I love it. Like it's so angled, Ugh, gorgeous. And as far as the face, like it doesn't take long to settle in. I like for my makeup to settle into the face and it's settled in and it looks good. Y'all tell me what you think down below. Do y'all feel better after this chat? Because I feel like we talked and we feel better, right? Right, right. How do you feel? I feel better. <laughs> Anyways, y'all tell me what you think about this unit and this face down below and this whole get ready with me. Also, if you can let me know um, what other videos you'd like to see, cause I'm feeling invigorated. Is that the word? Reinvigorated re-inspired inspired i think inspired is the word i want to thank you for um getting me this far i really do appreciate it i just appreciate y'all truly i do all of your comments the chats all of it love it so i love you all so much thank you so 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 much for watching hopefully y'all get some good rest tonight after running your mouth with me and I'll see you. Oh, grab the drink. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.